gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter got it Welcome everyone back to my YouTube channel. That channel is Dev Chanel's 40s World. Get into it. I want to thank you all for subscribing, subscribing, subscribing to my channel and helping me grow, grow, grow. But thank you, thank you, thank you to all my old supporters, all my new supporters, okay? And continue to remember to comment in the comment section down below as well as to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, okay? I'm going to speak my mind. This is my new segment introducing to all of my videos. I have got to speak my mind. It is going to be a must-see videotape, okay, that you all are going to enjoy. We're going to talk about this Kenya Moore, Nene Leak saga just continuing on and on and on. But what came across my social media feed on my phone today? It was from Yahoo.com, okay? Now, I get my email from Yahoo.com, but I didn't really think they had commentary to show me. So, I'm like, I must have signed up um, somewhere on the website where to send me trending news. But, honey, I was shocked when I saw this story. I said, ooh, I can't wait till I get home from work so I can break this story down in my own way, okay? To my family. Yes, my family on YouTube, because it's always a family affair. So, come on in. Sit yourself down and let's get on into this story, okay? Honey, the title was Kenya Moore Denies She's After Nene Leakes' Real Housewives of Atlanta Paycheck. Says Candy Boris or Burris is uh is show's top on <coughs> excuse me, earner. And this is from Dave Quinn. So we're gonna give him our whoop whoop whoop, uh, you know, high fives and everything, but it seems like it, it's uh coming from People magazine as well. She did an interview over there at Yahoo Entertainment, and, and she just went crazy talking about Nene, Nene, Nene. It's always Nene, Nene, Nene. With Nene, it's always Kenya, Kenya, Kenya. Kenya, Kenya, Kenya. I'm like, they both are the same. I don't understand why people don't understand that. No one is greater than the other one. They have all have great attributes, uh, everything to contribute to a, a, what do you call it, a mindless TV reality show. Okay? I'm just saying. But I am so tired of Nene, Nene, Nene talking about Kenya, 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 and Kenya, Kenya, Kenya talking about Nene, Nene, Nene. And they don't think neither one of them have stains on them. Okay. Ah, the both of them have stains. One thing I don't like about Kenya Moore is sometimes she don't want to fight her battles by herself with Nene. She always wants to include somebody or have people on her side so she can be like the ultimate bully out there. Now, Nene, she don't, I mean, damn, she, Nene, she get tea now. And she be with people that's gossiping and talking about somebody and not necessarily bring it to the forefront because it seems like people like Sheree, people like Cynthia, people like uh, Tanya Sams, you know, they get, and, and Kenya Moore because we just recently saw that on the Housewives of Atlanta, episode one, season 12, where she just came in the midst of Candy. Cynthia and uh, Eva talking and she wanted to get the tea and she wanted to go open up the door. Then I'm about to tell her to open up that door to that house. They knew they were going to go to that house one day, but she went on to the house, opened it up, dropped a little tea or introduction or gave a little summary. And then she wanted the other three women to come explain it to uh, Miss Portia after they told her, don't say nothing. So she one of them friends that you don't say nothing until you get where you got to go. Then you clue them in because she can't spoil the surprise. You know what I'm saying? Can you one of them kind of friends? But I was pissed. I was pissed to hear that now she trying to bring Candy Burris in it by saying Candy is the top earner. It ain't any need me. So I'm like, damn, Kenya, are you jealous? I mean, yes, you spent a year off. I get it. I got it good. Hello? Both you, you and Nene bring unique talents and drama field senselessness to the show. You definitely have your uh, fan base. You and her both have a very strong fan base. How I know? Let me tell you how I know. Because they be on my ass talking about you, Ken. They be on my ass talking about Nene. You know what I'm saying? But I got my opinion, so I must speak on it. Just like I give you all the opportunity to speak as well. But let's get on into the story because I'm like, can you fight your own brother? Don't bring Candy in it. Don't bring Eve in it. Whatever you don't like about Nene, break her down into size, okay? 
tear her up from the top of her head to the sole of her feet, but let you be doing it. Don't be getting other people to ride your bandwagon to cheer you on, okay? Because then they don't do that. Then you just come on up, up there, you know, be ready to throw at you, be ready to spit at you, be ready to manhandle you <laughs> and everything. But it's just her. She ain't got nobody on her bandwagon saying, go, 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 Nene. Because if you remember, she got into it with Marlo. Uh, over you, I believe when y'all they it was some seasons way back when, but she got mad. Nini's problem is she don't like people to hang out with people she don't care for, and that's a hang up on Nini. Anybody try to trade friendship or don't make friends with somebody Nini don't hate, that's their business. That sound like uh elementary and high school shit to me. Okay, like the mean girls walking around. You like who you like, you know. If they end up treating you the same way, then you should have learned a little something like. Keep them closer. Don't keep them that close to, you know, tell your business to. But let's just get on into the story, okay? It says, Kenya Moore denies she's after Nene Leakes' Real Housewives of Atlanta paycheck, says Candy Burris is the show's top earner. Okay, Kenya Moore may have some uh, issues with Nene Leakes, but money isn't one of them. During a visit to the Wendy Williams show on Tuesday, the former Miss USA 41 opened up about her strained relationship on the Real Housewives of Atlanta and definitely with her co-star and disputed claims that she <coughs> that she was at the leaks paycheck when she returned to the Bravo show in season 12. I make my own money, Moore insisted. Well, Kenya, you right. You make some other avenue revenue in other projects, but Real Housewives of Atlanta is your based income that you want to put as your uh, asset of where you get your money from on a seasonal basis, but they pay you enough. Okay, they pay you enough, baby, because if it's not, if it wasn't so, you wouldn't have been entertaining their ideas of coming back, and they wouldn't have been uh, attaining you to see if you wanted to come back. It was a mutual agreement, you know what I'm saying? Because the show did go on without you for that year. Was it lackluster? Of course. It was lackluster when Nene wasn't on the show, but to put it all in high, say every last one of y'all can be replaced with other people. I mean, to tell you the truth, I wanted to see other people get in there and make their own money and, you know, invite the old G's back from, you know, from whenever. But it seems like whatever drives the people at the time, they're going to keep that formula. Because would you change it if you had a multi million dollar business or ratchetness going on? I wouldn't want to change the uh, dynamics of the show too much, nor change the cast. But Push can and shove, you know I'm a big entity. I'm going to win. And I am going to find somebody to replace you, if not better than you. Okay? But this is how the entertainment world uh, goes down. If you keep getting on their nerves and demanding, 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 I don't care what you can really bring to the table or this, that, and the third, they will find somebody, just like you have a great singer out there. Don't you know, 10, 12, 14, 20 years down the road, it's going to be somebody come and bump you out that number one spot. It always happens. It's just like karma, full circle. Um, Everything just goes full circle. Never, It's nothing new under the sun, okay? But anyway, going back to the article, it says... um. Excuse me, but Wendy Williams, who recently repaired her own friendship with Leaks after a lengthy feud, questions more defense. Nene's the top biller, she said. Okay. And Wendy Williams just poking at the bear, poking at the bear, and Kenya didn't even realize that she was doing it because her anger made her mouth talk before it reaches her brain on what really truly to say. Because Kenya really is a good interviewer. But it seems like if you throw salt in that wound when it comes to Nene, she's going to start spitting out, hollering, anything she can get her hands on or her mouth to say. She don't care. No holes barred. But anyway, uh, <coughs> Nene interjected and said, that's not true. Moore told Williams, insisted that Real Housewives of Atlanta co-star Candy Burris is actually the show's highest earner. Bravo did not immediately respond to people's requests for comment. And I like to say this, you know, people always think they know the intel on what and who and where. And really, only the people that own the company really truly knows what a person is making. You know what I'm saying? There used to be a thing on jobs uh, nowadays that you couldn't, or back when, that you couldn't discuss pay. Or, you know, that was a immediately a uh, written up situation. But I mean, I understand if a person is bringing in a lot of uh, viewers to the show and they're, they're siding with who's uh, better than who's on the show. Of course, you know, they're going to probably uh, give them more money, but not that much more money. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you can just go write your own 
ticket and don't think it's going to be negotiated on. Don't think them big people that own that company that produced the show ain't already had a set limit or how much they can make of each and every one of you ladies on the show and then still try to underpay you. It's just the, the facts of life if you really want to get down through it. So to me, you shouldn't even really care who makes the most money. You should just be uh, happy to be on that platform and definitely try to wager something that you think would be a fair uh, assessment of your skills and talents you bring to the show. But the truth be tr <laughs> excuse me, the truth be told, you ain't going to never be able to make what you think you can make. And it ain't nothing you could change about it, okay? But it's good to have those thoughts. But moving on back over to the story, the arc that was written. Uh, you know, Kenya's saying, no, that's not true. Candy Burris is the highest uh, earner and this, that, and third. And I think she just wanted to poke the bell uh, to get Nene incited to even probably think about going and talking to the executive, executives and say, you can't make more than me. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, curiosity bites the cat all the time. But a cat got nine lives, so I guess you can stretch it a little bit. But going back to the article, it says Burris, 43, has spent 11 seasons on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Joining the reality show in its second season, Leaks 51 was an original cast member when it premiered in 2008, but took two seasons off, leaving season eight and nine to focus on her acting career. Well, we all know how that went. Um, okay, it downsized. It went into the abyss. We know Nene can't act, but what she gives us is pure entertainment, and I enjoy it. Okay, we're going back. It says, Candy makes the most money. <clears throat> money so if i was coming for anybody's person bad it would be candy candy or said so see candy you better you better keep her close to you how they say keep your uh friends close but keep your enemies closer honey kenya is the enemy and if she has to bring up a statement about how much you make it's it may be uh cool to think she's kind of jealous of you that's just me i don't know if anybody else on that same wavelength but check it out keep watching kenya okay because a person that keeps saying things putting the people on a pedestal when she knows she want to be on that top stage pedestal for everybody to look at her kenya's jealous she's jealous she's jealous she's jealous okay but moving back on it says um Candy makes the most money, so if I was coming for anybody's purse and bad, it would be Candy's, Moore said. Candy is the real HBIC on that show. I'm just a little player. Oh, I'm just a player. Okay. Uh, yeah, that ain't what you said before in previous, previous in interviews okay can you 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 got like you playing chess and the rest of them playing dominoes okay i, I mean nini's uh forte in her attitude she always says she always playing chess over checkers okay but you know we know that nini has slipped sometime as well that's why she i believe that she is not on these first couple of episodes it's called they're paying her ass back still again for getting uh hands on that man okay so she got to lose some revenue people don't want to come out and say it because they think they are on the top and don't think nobody would slide their behinds back down or, or, or be pulled back down when they thinking they trying to come up or something hell they'll probably say get your own network produce your own show i don't need you no more i replace you boom bam out of there then nini kenyon and rest of them that thinks they're so high on the totem pole that they can't be touched They'll be looking for unemployment. <laughs> or they'll be trying to be just like Phaedra, trying in and everything to stay out there, um, uh, being trying to be seen as re relevant so she can get on somebody's show. Cause like I wanted to do a, a, a review on, I think it was Marriage Boot Camp she, should, she was supposed to be on. But I ain't, hear, I ain't heard nothing else about it. So I don't know, damn Phaedra, ain't nobody want to mess with you because your uh, little thing you did to Bravo and how to put them in some legality type situations is that what it is girl i'm tired of seeing you instead of in your field of study that you went to school for mortuary business or a entertainment attorney business that's where you should be but you sitting up there looking like a thought out there getting in and every type of chance to be seen by the public and it's just becoming to be disturbing phase it's just disturbing how I mean, you have let yourself sink so low to be in the entertainment field but anyway that's my sidebar moving back on to this article it says, uh, I'm just, okay, okay. It says, I, I have a nice coin. I love the little bag I take home at night, and it feeds my, ch my child very well. So I'm not com coming for anybody's money. You 
could have fooled me, can you? Because you're talking about other people's money. You're talking about Nene's bag is low. You're talking about candy bag is high. I'm confused, baby. I'm confused. Stay in your own lane. Worry about your own coins or dollars or however you want to see your income. And keep other people's name out your mouth. Okay, just play you. You do it very well. You twirl. You be tearing up stuff around here. I call you, I call you the tornado twirl around now. But, you know, people like teen twirl, teen twirl. And I, I ain't got no problem with it because I'm team everybody. But when I see a spade, I'm going to call them out. Okay? But anyway, going back to the article, it says, Moore and Leaks have had a rocky relationship with Real Housewives of Atlanta with the two larger-than-life personalities butting heads over the years. That was a perfect word. They are two large heads, big heads. Okay? Um... They seem to be on good terms during season 10, but had a falling out at the more decided not to return to the show the following season when more made a surprise appearance at the season. But now they part at least wasn't happy and the two didn't speak. So what really went wrong between them? We're asking. According to more things, when arrived after she found out she was pregnant with her daughter, Brooklyn Doris, <coughs> which is now one. Uh, when I had a high-risk pregnancy that I wanted my entire life, she never once called me more, told Williams. When I did show up, she never checked on my child. She never said, is everything okay? When she learned I wasn't going to be on the show, she never said, are you okay, girl? Do you need anything? And then when she did see me eight months pregnant, she called me a monster and said that my child was a buffalo and she was hurtling insults. Now, see, uh, Candy... I, she probably called you a buffalo, big as a buffalo, you know what I'm saying? But I, no, many didn't call your child, an uh, um, unborn child, uh, um, what do you call it, a uh, a buffalo. She didn't do that. No, see, you're lying, Kenya. I didn't hear it. If anybody heard, let me know so I can go back and, and preview that video if I can get my hands on it. Because, no, she called you, Kenya, a monster, and you big as a buffalo. That's what I remember. But fact checkers, get on in now. And see if y'all can get me somewhere I can go and uh, see. It ain't really that much of something I really want to entertain or finding out. But, you know, hey, whatever. Uh, moving back on, she said, I like people who are genuine. More continued. Through the years, I felt like I was a friend. She made such a big issue about being friends. But she's the one who is not friends with people. She has allies. Okay, Real Housewives of Atlanta fans will get to see things play out between leaks. And more throughout season 12, which premiered Sunday on Bravo. Things apparently got so bad between the two that Nene ne ne Lee's nearly spat or spit it on more. In one scene, she alleged on Wendy Williams. She tried to act like she was going to spit on me. <coughs> more recalled claiming that Lee's was hogging up her saliva. You will see that on the show. On Sunday night, more teased the incident during an appearance on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen telling. Uh, coined that leaks was dead to her. Okay. Um, I rather say never, but when it comes to friendships, but my feelings are pretty strong on this one, she said, I can get along with anyone. I can be cordial to anyone in any circumstances, but that one is a long time coming. Leaks is not happy for other people's success, more at it. I think she wants to be as she's always proclaimed herself to be. The HBIC, when you have to proclaim something so much, you either are or you aren't. You don't have to try to claim it. I think she's a very jealous-hearted person. That's what least she told people last week, that she's tried to make an effort with more this season, but that it failed. There's no similarities between Kenya and I. She's completely different, Leek said. Yes, we both have big personalities. It's one thing to have a big personality, but it's another thing to be one being short of a taco. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Those are two different things. Okay, and then it just says when the Real Housewives of Atlanta, where you can catch them again, which is Sunday on the Bravo channel. Eastern Standard Time Zone is 8 o'clock. I don't know what it is. Maybe 7 on another um, time zone. But I'm like, Nene and Lily, <laughs> Nene and uh, Kenya, they are two of the same people. They love giving insults to uh each other they love tearing each other down and that's basically what it what it is we love to see that mindless drama do we really care if they uh become friends and, and one day be solid no i don't care you know what i'm saying what we watch for mindless drama pretty much we want to see discord here and there we don't want to see nobody get hurt definitely don't want to see nobody get spat on 
okay? Because then that is a <laughs> that's an assault charge. I don't know what you got going on in your body. I don't know if if it's some you know foreign objects up in there that I could catch or what not. We just don't know how you know diseases are transferred. So when you want to like hog up something, you know, because it's mucus being stuck in your uh, larynx or your throat part. Sometimes you do have to get it up. Maybe I'm just saying Nene had that where it was very uncomfortable. She had to kind of get it uh, up from her throat so she could spit it out. Now, Nene, bless your heart. If you didn't and you just wanted to hog it up and spit it on Kane, then yeah, that's a fight. <laughs> that's a poor, drawn out, no holes barred fight. Ain't nobody going to jail. But, uh, you know, it's whooping ass time pretty much. It's just whooping ass time. But, um, yeah, y'all get down in them comments and y'all tell me what y'all thought about this thing that Kenya keeps going on TV talking about Nene. And then Nene goes on and talk about Kenya. And it's the same format. It's like they're going around to the big heavy hitter vloggers as well as pop show hosts. And they're just making their ratings go up. So I'm like, is this all just a PR stunt? And that, you know, y'all don't really care if y'all become friends in real life or not because y'all co-workers and y'all there to do a job. And that's to entertain us. But when you're going around trying to spit on people, that's just, uh -uh. That's just nasty. It, it's, it's like, oh, where's my sanitizer so I can spray you, Nene? Because <laughs> that, that was just below the bill. I understand what Kenya coming from, but it didn't actually happen. See, Kenya, that's what you should have been, you know. You, you know, she didn't actually do it. She probably did. I mean, just, just think about it. It's a lot of people going around here that say shit that you be want to put your hands around their throat. You be want to go out outright and just, you know, find them and beat them the hell up. You know what I'm saying? But we know we can't do this. We going to say, we going to talk all with our mouths, all, you know, um, sending out cursified words, you know. Uh, out to the atmosphere, whatnot, about a certain person, but we know the real G's know if you put your hands on somebody, you, in fact, more than likely gonna go to jail. And I hope you got that jail money, okay, for bond if they even attempt to give you bond, depending on the circumstances, okay. But that's all I had for this video. You know, I got plenty more because I love to talk, but that one was one I really wanted to get out. But I'm like, wait a minute now. Kenya, stop bringing people into you and Nene's argument. Make it be with about you and Nene. Don't bring Ken, uh, Candy in. Come on, she's the she's really the HBIC. Candy didn't claim that the thing. Candy just said, like, get, I'm here. Give me my money. Just give me my money. She does invest her money well. That's how she's becoming so solidified and being able to do all these other ventures because she knows how to invest her money well. Okay? But Honey, I don't care. All y'all can call you. Call yourself Teen Twirl, Miss Miss USA, Miss Beauty Queen, and all this stuff. Why did Nene can't call herself the HBIC? It's just that what she's claiming what she is. It ain't what Bravo's saying. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it just keep just stop. Let it be between you and Nene. Stop bringing people in your uh wars of words. Again, I'm pretty sure she didn't really appreciate that because she's trying to just be cordial with everybody. She don't want to start no shit up with Nene. She really don't. Come mama raised her well to respect her elders. You know, and Nene is her elder, even though Nene might not respect her half the time, which I don't really feel she she doesn't do because, you know, Candy is a little younger than her. So, of course, she's not going to float in Candy's world and all her social events, you know, but it just is what it is. OK, but that's all I have for this video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Hope y'all put that hit them like buttons and, buttons and subscribe to my channel so we can always come back and talk with one another about how I felt. I had to speak my mind, so I'm asking you to speak yours. All right, guys. See you next video.